game time again here at the Dubai International Cricket Stadium. Here in the UAE, it's been fantastic. The HBL PSL is on the march again. Hit it well enough with that big bat. It was time to tee off, having had two quiet overs. Gale at his best. It's just a little chip for the big man. I reckon he got all of this. No, that's a thicker outside of the half of the blade. Still goes all the way. Like his approach, Chris Gale, a little shimmy down the pitch too. It's nice, nice and lofted. It's a nice quick hands, doesn't he? Oh, good hands from the batsman, that is. That still goes for four. We talked about bat speed. Probably a length back, I see. It wasn't a half volley, but it slid on nicely. The pace and that wrist work. Unique to uh, the subcontinent, as we all know and appreciate. Great stuff. Through the line, through the line again. Hasn't middled it, but he still gets four. That is tremendous. Straight up. Brilliant. He wants it himself. Mills. Cotton bowled. Has the last laugh. Gets his man. <laughs> Great change of pace. Really well bowled. Dismissal and done by variation. Pereira is a smart cookie, and Chris Gale could never get going. He was looking rusty, looking just a little bit hesitant, circumspect. He hasn't gone anywhere, has he? First, just a little cutter. The ball didn't arrive for him, and the universe boss just pushed at it. Nothing short, really. Can't bowl there, short and wide. Beats the man and brings up the 50. It was hit extremely hard, and once that field at point was beaten, it was always going to be touch and go for the man in the deep. There he goes, that's more like it. Sangakara hitting his first six. It's a graceful shot when he hits. Left arm spin ball turning back into him. Comes down the track and deposited out of the ground. Yeah. Hit it with the spin. He's gone. Well, a little bit short and he's found the gap and it's a good boundary. Races away. I tell you what, these overs are racing away. I just felt like uh, we were in the seat just moments ago with the opening five overs. Suddenly, we're into over 11. Can't bowl there, Zulfi. It's the fine sweep. It's beaten short, fine. And is this the innings? And he's going to get Kumar Sangokara back into some form. He moves to 21 from 16. Thanks for coming. Four more. Ten off, two to go. Gives himself some space to Sangokara. Is it out? It is. Well, the start that he's got after some poor form comes to an end. Pereira once again chipping in with the big wicket. He got Gale. He now has the skipper, Kumar Sangokara. To get things kicking over the last uh, six overs or so as Sangakara went come on, come on. not that long ago. Some space does he give himself, Pollard, and he gives him a lot of space a long way back. Holy schmoly! Has he got a hold of this? Put on your helmets up there in the second tier because Pollard is here. Oh, yeah. Sheer brute force from KP. 
of the KKs. Flatter, quicker, on, and it's gone just as quick to the boundary. On the charge with the cool and cool downtown. He's gone straight again, but that position has picked it out beautifully. It's Kevin Peterson on the boundary. Pollard's tried to go one more time, one more time, too many. And Nawaz has fought back beautifully. Well, he certainly can if he keeps going like that. If you don't mind, very first ball, biggest six of the night. In the strategic timeout, here's a guy that likes to get a sighter, work his way in. Take his time. Well, hello. Come on, come on, hello. How's the strike rate, folks? It's 600 in sound. Inside edge, that'll do the job nicely. Must be frustrating for the bowler, but that's what it will take. 114 for the loss of ball. There's your wish. Wilker has found the fifth gear. Now, maybe the sixth gear. KP was rather disappointing in the last game. Nothing disappointing about this one, or is it? He has taken in the tee deep. He's out. Didn't connect it properly, Shweb Malik, but he had to really go for broke. Went for the Yorker. Toe end of the bat, Shweb Malik. That's why he didn't really go anywhere. Now I was easily underneath that. Was eyeing that mid wicket fence. He fancies clearing it all the time. Hind leg was brought in and he has bowled a bad delivery. It's just not done. <laughs> now, obviously, Wilco doesn't like this line. He's not happy. We're not happy as well. <laughs> <laughs> and it's Danny Morrison, you idiot. <laughs> Barber has hit a six in the meantime and has pushed himself to 50. Yeah, here it comes, single roll, Hunk firing away. Took a long time coming this six. Well, set up very nicely and uh, hit it sweetly. Pupara drives the ball and into the gap. What a classic piece of batting from him. Oh, what a shot that is. Risty and classical once again from Ravi Bupara. That's taken. That's taken safely by Zulfikar Baba. Ravi Bupara could have hurt them more, but uh, it's a precious wicket and a very good catch. Almost a stunning catch, really was an excellent effort. That's a Shafiq there. Another slow delivery. Just messes up the timing completely. Second run, will they be able to handle this? Gone, Safraz has whipped the bails off with time to spare. Yes, yeah, some good fielding there at the end, but uh, the innings finishes. Karachi Kings, is it enough? 159 for eight. Welcome back here to the Ring of Fire. Hitting 160 to take out match five. Oh, a bit of width and no swing. Only swing off the blade. First runs are a boundary. And immediately the bowler wants to change with the field. Just waited for it a fraction longer. Hit it closer to his back leg, which opened up the squarer side of the field. A little shimmy and a little flick as well. Shafiq 
cool and cool boundary to finish the second over, 13 without loss. It's a lovely stroke to get things underway in over number three. Sets himself early, not a lot of foot movement across the line of the ball, but good hand-eye. On the charge. Love this game. I reckon that's gone all the way. Maximum, thank you, Alim Dar. Well, just 24 hours difference, isn't it? Swinging around out of the hand yesterday, and now it's a swing off the bat all the way to the boundary. No movement. Look at the confidence. Meeting the ball early. And it's a safe shot. And first one down, you betcha. Pollard silences the crowd. Jam and sweet. And yeah, there's the bounce. He was back and across. Now, Pollard's never going to drop those, but more of it into the pitch length. Don't worry about the swing, it's about the seam and the bounce. There's a carry! Oh, he's not sure. We're going to come across here. I think we'll get a soft signal, have to go upstairs. Healthy edge from Peterson's blade. And... Oh, yes, got the fingers underneath. 23. The two, and it's hatched. Straight up. Who wants it? God, it's gone all the way. The rope is in, but it's a maximum. Didn't get all of it. Yeah, the bowler can be rueful about it. It ends the over. Four bowl, 30 for two. Found the fielders. Here's the top edge. I thought it was going to be gobbled on the boundary. To show Malik, yeah, he did his best, but he's well over the uh, boundary line, the boundary cushion. previous over but now he's at backward point cutter airways high flying catch you better believe it on the drive not really traveling but just lobbed into the hands i think oh that's a very good catch though they're sliced away you've got to be very watchful of those nine golden ducks first ball is Oh, a slip, and it's four. But you've got to work hard and uh, just tighten the grip over the ball. I think uh, they usually tell you to catch the ball with soft hands or stop the ball with soft hands on a tricky outfield, moist outfield. Your grip has got to be better. And Rousseau takes him on straight away. It's going to be a steep learning curve for the youngster. So we'll go at him. That's hit hard into the gap. Is a sweet timer of the ball and effortlessly done. How well he read this. Created doubt in Pollard's man who's just dropped it really short, given him the length to drag it leg side. And he's picked the gap. Just over the player's dugout. Great delivery from Pollard. That pitch down slow one. Hitting straight back for a six. Once again, lovely piece of timing. He's got the angles covered. Great flat six from Rousseau. Well, he's playing just as he did in the first match. Marvellous clean hitting this, 74 for three. What a good clean blow this was. Yeah, full toss, and Riley Russo didn't need another invitation. In the gap as well. And Shoyd Malik admonishes himself. Another boundary really making this comfortable for themselves at the moment. 
great footwork that's deep in the crease. So big challenge here for Malik to bowl well. He's found the gap. So boundaries leaking and Sangakara must now surely think about going to one of his frontline seamers. 97 for three. Beautifully played, passed mid-off to his left. What an innings this is from Riley Russo. 100 for the Gladiators. Smacked very well, beautifully from Safraz. I love this game and love this right-handed captain. Russo now, his little cameo, carving it everywhere. Half century, he just steps on the gas. He's striking at 157. Oh, that's punished. Off the back foot, he's having a blast out there now. Surprise, he likes such situations. He wants to challenge himself. And every now and then you see him play such knocks. Real captain's innings. That's an easy shot. That's gone. It hit the fence on the full. Imad was seen quick through the air and delivering a full toss on the pads to a guy who's in great touch. Surprise gets a 50. Oh, that's gone. That's gone for four. Fine leg up in the ring. Even it had been pushed back. Still have been the same result. 150 for the loss of three. Two overs left. Chinese cut. Always gets you a boundary. Most effective shot in T20 cricket. Oh, that is it. Full toss put away. Beautifully by the guy who's led this charge elegantly. It's Rilo Russo who provides Moin Khan and his team with relief and another win. Russo fittingly hitting the winning runs over extra cover. Delighted with his performance and rightly so. Coaching staff happy, all's good. Riley Russo, take a bow. So 159, maybe 20 runs short, 50 from power, 160 for three, 76 Riley Russo, 56 are for us. So Quetta Gladiators, two wins out of two on top. Shawa Zalmi, Lahore Kalandas just with the one win. Karachi Kings haven't got off the mark.